Hey guys, it's Mel. Uh, really fast before these are all handed out. Maya is having a little, her birthday's not till November 17th, but she decided she wanted to have a Halloween birthday, so it's about two weeks early. So, um, a little more. But, um, she decided to have a Halloween party, so I wanted to make her invitations. There's not that many kids coming, just some neighborhood kids and her cousins, which I like because I don't want to be huge, and then the rest of the family because that can get big as is. So um, I just put this together. This is supposed to be a bat. I hope you can make that out. It's just ribbon tied through, and then I cut the end to make it look like a bat on there. Um, I was looking online to see some ideas, but there wasn't a whole lot on there <clears throat> for, you know, this type of occasion for her, but, um, that was, you know, not quite too kitty, but not too gory either. Um, so this is what I came up with. I printed, um, this was a free font on dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and I believe it's called, um, Horror Hotel. So it took me a long time because I only have my MacBook and we don't have, my husband ha ended up finding out, figuring it out for me, but, um, we don't have, you know, Microsoft Word on the other ones. And I would type this up and I would have it all aligned like this. And then when you go to print, it jacked it all up and put it everywhere. So I had a heck of a time doing that and I just used my craft vellum. But we ended up working it out, so I was glad with the help of my hubby. Um, so um, we, I did this here and I made it into a bat and just glued googly eyes. Then in just little accents in the corners, instead of using rhinestones, I used eyeballs. Um, and then we had this little candy corn, I think they're Martha Stewart candy corn, so I just put two on each to dress it up. And then there's the font there, it says you're invited to a frightfully fun Halloween birthday party. Um, so it's going to be on Friday, October 30th, so she's, I want to make a bunch of these for her friends. And on the back, this paper, I love it and I should have got more, um, a Hobby Lobby opened close to me and there's one open and even closer. So we took a ride there, um, two days ago and only got one of these and all the papers, 99, um, 50% off. So this was regular. It's by Doodlebug Designs. They had a bunch of different colors, but I thought this would be really pretty because I love the purple and, you know, new and Halloween, but I only got one. So they were $1.99. They were only 90, ended up being 99 cents with their 50% off, but I only got one. I should have got more, but I think I'll be able to fit some more on here and then I'll go and replace it. So just wanted to share that really quick, um, little inexpensive, um, Halloween party idea, invitation idea. And I thought it came out really cute, so now I just have about, and then I just stamped my created by Melissa stamp on the back. Um, <clears throat> so she's going to hand these all out to her friends once I get the rest done. But just wanted to share this idea in case anybody get it out early enough, in case anybody else was, you know, having a party or needed some ideas or something simple that you can kind of create yourself. So just wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope you are having a nice Saturday. Bye.